Hello. In this video, I'm going to explain how to network replicate the firearms that are included in the Firearms Evolved Asset Pack. Note that this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm only going to point out which parts need to be replicated in order for the weapons to work in multiplayer. Let's start with the firearm first, and then we're going to take a look at the player. On begin play, initialize variables. There are a few get player character nodes. These would need to be replaced with a reference to the player that is holding the weapon. We don't necessarily need to replicate the reserves component. This just stores how much ammunition reserves each player has. If you don't know how much reserves another player has, then this doesn't need to be replicated. And this is the HUD, the interface also doesn't need to be replicated. Next, let's go to the aim sway and the aim offset. So on tick, there are two functions, apply aim camera offset and apply scoped aim sway. In both of these functions, we are getting a reference to the player controller. Again, you would need to update this to be a reference to the player controller that is currently holding the weapon. Next are the animation montages. So you can search for play montage or you could check on the event graph. So you have the fire animation, we have the dry fire animation, we have the reload animations, it's just those four. These would need to be replicated as well. So every time you want to call a, an, a montage, you need to make a multicast on the server so that it shows for all clients that this player is currently playing the reload or shooting animation. And then in this pack, the sounds and the VFX are tied to the montage, meaning if you replicate the montage, it should also do the VFX and sounds for all the players. Okay, let's move on to the fire bullet logic. So in here is where we spawn the actual projectiles. Let's start with the spawn bullet hit scan. What we need to do here is replicate the fake tracer. So we're spawning this fake tracer system and this vector parameter needs to be set on all instances. And we also need to make sure that if we hit something here, that the damage is applied to the hit actor on all other instances. So this really depends on how you set up your damage logic. You can overwrite this. Um, you can use the apply damage node. I believe that is already um, replicated. If you end up using the Unreal damage system, if you make your own damage system, then make sure that it's properly replicated. And in here, in the hit scan, we also need to make sure that the bullet impact effects are consistent across all clients. Now let's go to the spawn bullet projectile function. In here, I would only recommend that we spawn the actual bullet on only the server or only the owning client. And then if that bullet hits something, it applies damage to the hit actor on all instances. But we don't need to spawn this bullet necessarily on all instances because it's invisible anyways. The logic doesn't need to run on every single client. It could even happen that it hits something on all instances and so the damage is applied multiple times. So I recommend only spawning this on either the server or the owning client. client. And then make sure if it hits something, you can open up the bullet. If it hits something, you need to update the damage logic again, just like with the hit scan. Then for the fake bullet tracer, we spawn this here. We have the spawn actor node. As far as I'm concerned, the spawn actor node is already replicated. And if we go ahead and open this up, we set these two values that are um, exposed on spawn. We set these to replicated. If we spawn this actor, it should already have all of these values replicated ac across all clients. So we don't need to do anything extra here. Finally, this is optional. If you can drop your weapons and then another player can pick it up, you probably also want to replicate your magazine. It's in runtime, current magazine and chamber is empty, boolean. Both of these need to be replicated. So that if you drop your weapon for another player and the other player picks it up, they have the same number of bullets in the magazine. Okay, now let's go to the player character. We of course need to replicate the movement. If you're using this player character, you also need to replicate 
two functions. That would be the equip firearm and the clear firearm slot. So the clear firearm slot function just lets the player throw their weapon away on the ground. Oh, this should happen on all clients. And the equip firearm function puts uh, a firearm into the player hand. It should also be replicated so that the player is holding the same weapon across all instances. I think that should be all. Of course, I'm only giving pointers here, explaining how I would approach replicating it. I did not actually go through the process of replicating it, so I could have forgotten something. If you end up following this tutorial and something doesn't work out for you, please just send me a message and I can probably tell you where the problem is or why the, the behavior happens.